In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry and bond angles for PI3. This is phosphorus triiodide. The first thing we need to do when we look at molecular geometry, we need a Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure for PI3. If you need help drawing this, there's a link in the description. You'll notice that we have iodine. Each iodine has eight valence electrons. The octets are full for the iodines. And that phosphorus in the center, it also has eight valence electrons. And two of them right here, those are lone pairs. So we have our Lewis structure, and you can imagine each iodine and the lone pair all pushing away from each other. And that'll give us the molecular geometry for PI3. It helps if we visualize it. So the purple, that's the central phosphorus atom. Let's add three iodine atoms around it. One, two, you see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can be. Three, now we have this trigonal planar molecular geometry. And let's add to that our lone pair, that one lone pair we had in our Lewis structure. And there it is. So we end up with this trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry with this lone pair on top and everything pushing down these iodine atoms all pushed away from each other. If you looked at the electron geometry, you need to take into account the lone pair. That would mean that you have a tetrahedral electron geometry, but the molecular geometry, trigonal pyramidal. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So back at our Lewis structure, if we couldn't visualize what this looks like in three dimensions, we could do this two other ways. One is we could look at the steric number. So we have one, two, three, four things attached to the central phosphorus atom. One of them's a lone pair. So we look at this chart here. We have a steric number of four, and one of those things is a lone pair. So we come down and over, and there's that trigonal pyramidal we were talking about. Bond angles, about 109.5 degrees. I would expect, since this is a lone pair here, it would be less. I think the actual value is 102 degrees. So we have our molecular geometry and our bond angles. We could also use the AXE notation. A, that's the central phosphorus atom. X, that's the number of atoms bonded. We have three iodine atoms bonded to it. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. We had one lone pair. So you either memorize that this is trigonal pyramidal, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry and bond angles for PI3, phosphorus triiodide. Thanks for watching.